Hey, hello everybody. It's Brandon again. Hope you're doing good. Today we are taking a look at FidoS version 15.1. And uh, so here's the deal. Every time I make a Chrome OS Flex video, which is a lot of my videos, there's at least one comment that's something like, Chrome OS Flex sucks. Why are you messing with it? Get FidoS. It's way better. It has Android, etc. And we've looked at different versions of FidoS on the channel here before. It's uh, it's not a bad system. I've talked about it several times. But uh, here we're looking at the latest version. This is 15.1. You can pick this up. You just uh, you basically just go to your Google here. I, and uh, I guess it, their search engine defaults to Bing. G-O-G-L-E.com. You type FidoS, Y-D-E-O-S. And it'll come right up. Um, you know, I've said this before and I've talked about FidoS. I kind of think their homepage sucks. Sorry to the uh, FidoS people. I'm sure you're proud of it. But, uh, I mean, I just want a button that says download, which there kind of is on the bottom, but I don't need all these gimmicks. But anyway, that's just me. Some people might like that. Anyway, you download it, you install it, much the same way you'd install Chrome OS Flex, which we talked about a lot on this channel. I installed it on the Asus L210M laptop that I have here. It's uh, just a little Asus Ultrabook, $200 on Amazon, and it runs really good. One thing to keep in mind is, in order to get FidoS working on this laptop, I had to disable Secure Boot. And I remember that from the last time I installed FidoS. Every time I put it on, I can't get it to install unless I turn off Secure Boot in the BIOS. So if you're getting installation problems, uh, that's one thing you can look at. Now, the bottom line here is, the main benefit of FidoS, and I think you guys all know, is unlike Chrome OS Flex, it supports Android and Google Play Store pretty much right out of the box. Right when you install it, you get a notification in the corner here that says, do you want to set up the Android subsystem? I said yes. One click, it went ahead and set it up for me. After you uh, get the Android subsystem installed, you go to their FidoS store, which I think my big head is covering up here. So I'm just going to type store. It'll open up their store app. And right on the main page, there's going to be a configure open G apps. You need to install that. You do that, it'll automatically go through everything, just one click, and it'll install the Google Play Store. And then there you have it. You have Google Play on a on an Intel laptop. Something that Chrome OS Flex should have, but it doesn't. And from what I've read, it probably never will have it. So that sucks, but uh, it's here in FidoS. The other thing about FidoS that separates it from Chrome OS Flex is you don't need to use a Google account at all. I mean, obviously you do to sign into the Play Store, but if you're not using the Play Store, you can log into this with a, uh, I think with a local account or a FidoS account, and you don't have to have Google anything if you don't want. So that's the deal. The Play Store works. Um, you know, you can just search for whatever Android apps you look. This, let's just try this Alto Adventure and install it while we're talking about things. Now, another thing that comes up on my FidoS videos is some people complain about FidoS because it's made in China. Uh, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, I haven't had any problems with it the times I've used it. Doesn't bother me at all that it's made in China. Uh, pretty much all the computer hardware I own is probably made in China, and it's fine. My iPhone's made in China, it's no big deal. So if that's a problem for you, you know... I think you need to look at the reality that pretty much everything you have is probably made in China. All right, so we installed this. Let's play it and see what it does. It uh, opened on the other window here. So I'm going to see if I can drag it over. I don't know how to switch windows. Maybe. Ah. It's running, okay? You can't see it. It's running. It seems to be running good on the laptop. Off the top of my head here, I do not know how to switch it to the other window. Kind of embarrassing. This is a uh, seems to be a full screen only application, so I cannot move it over. It's probably because I picked a game. I'll bet if I installed an app, something that supports the window resizing API that Android has, I probably would have been able to move it over. Let's try something like uh... Oh, shoot. Well, let's just try this Wikipedia app. I don't know why you'd get the app when they have a website, but let's try it. Installs pretty quick. 
as I said, from all I've used Fido OS, the Android stuff works pretty good. Yeah, and here we go. It's over on the other window here, but here it's in a windowed mode. I can drag it over. Uh, can I resize it? Yeah, the resizing works pretty good on Android apps. Uh, and a lot of Android apps have supported windowing for some time, especially on regular Chromebooks that support Google Play. So this is all fine. I suspect much of the Android catalog works without problem. And But the reason I'm showing it off is because I'm pretty sure it's the reason most people are going to be trying Fight OS. It's because it's free and it has Android. And that's what a lot of people want. So the only other caveat here to Fight OS that some people probably need to be aware of is you, you can't get updates for free. You have to pay a small amount of money to update your system in place. If you don't want to do it, you just have to re-download the Fight OS image again and reinstall the whole thing from scratch. Uh, I don't remember what the update price is, but it's super cheap. You guys can say in the comments, it's maybe like one dollar or something. Maybe more, I don't know. But so yeah, this is Fight OS. Uh, everything else is pretty much just like Chrome OS. All the flags we talk about on the channel probably work. All the uh, instructions for installing Linux and Linux applications probably work on this thing too. It's pretty much a straight Chrome OS uh, alternative, except not made by Google, and it supports Android apps. So there it is. If you guys want to see anything else on Fight OS, let me know. But I think you guys pretty much know what the game is in a nutshell, because we've talked about Chrome OS extensively on the channel. This is pretty much just like it, but with Google. Uh, I myself... I've never found the Android apps useful on a laptop device. I always say this on my videos talking about Android applications on Chrome OS. People think I'm crazy. People comment about Chrome OS Flex not having Android. I say it's not a big deal. People disagree. That's fine. We can disagree. To me, Android apps, they're not necessary on this thing. The web apps work good, but I think I might be in the minority on that, which is fine. Uh, go ahead and check out Fight OS if you like it. If there's other stuff you want me to test on here, let me know. Otherwise, I will uh, probably be putting Chrome OS Flex back on this thing, which is not a dig at Fight OS, but this channel is kind of based around Chrome OS Flex, so I need it on there for testing and showing things off. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Fight OS. If you plan on trying it, and uh, if there's anything else you want me to test on here in the next few days before I put Flex back on here. Other, other than that, if you guys are interested in... Uh, other Chrome OS or Fight OS or Linux related videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, or if you didn't like it, that's fine too. And I hope you all have a good, idea, good day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.